Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about one of the stuffs I most like to do when programming, that is presenting data in a consolidated way in a web browser like this one. Here we have created a dashboard in which we have taken data from database using a backend programming language that was Node.js and then we have programmed a REST web service for delivering this data for clients. And in our case, this client is this HTML file, which has consumed the backend API and presented then the data here in the user interface. One nice thing is that this solution was constructed just utilizing open source and free libraries. So you can do that by yourself without costs. The idea of this video is to present you all the steps, the database, how we have prepared this data in database side, how we have carried this data in the backend programming language, and then how we deliver this data to the front end and how the front end read this data and then presenting this chart in the user interface. So let's begin in this overview about the whole solution. Let's start with the database. Here I'm utilizing the MySQL database and the MySQL WorkBank client to connect on that. This database, Sakila, is the data sample I have utilized. It comes together with MySQL installation. The goal here is to prepare the data to be read by the backend programming language. Once we have the goal to prepare a bar chart, we need so two dimensions, the X, that's the name of the customers in this case, and the Y, that is the total, the amount of payments they have carried out. So see here, we have prepared a group by, by customer. So we take all the payments together for each customer. We have performed the sum of the amount they have paid in each month, for instance, and then we just order by, by total, so we have the biggest ones first and the smallest ones in the end, but we limit just to the 10 biggers. So we have data in a, a month that's possible to present in the interface because in this database, we have amount, about 500 database the, uh, customers. So if you want to present all of them in a bar chart, it will be difficult to be utilized. So the idea is to prepare just with the 10 figures so it could be a useful information for the client of the application that's consuming that. Now, your attention is quite important because we are going to present the backend. Here, we have more than just read the data from the database. We need to prepare as well the web services to deliver the data as a JSON content when the client prepares HTTP requests to our web server. So more than read database, we also need to set up the server. We are going to use Express library to then open an HTTP port to be requested by client. So let's do that now. Here we have the code we are going to execute to run our backend. We have to import the MySQL model and also need to import the Express model. MySQL will be utilized to perform the requests from Node to MySQL database. And the Express is going to be utilized to open one HTTP port to read the, to listen the requests it's going to receive from client. So basically in the beginning, we need to start our Express server. Here we have adopted this port here. That's not the standard HTTP port, but it's one valid port we can also utilize. You can adapt that for your preference. Here is the credentials to connect in the MySQL database, which we are going to utilize here now to read the database we have just previously presented. 
then here we connect to the database and then here we prepare the SQL instruction we have tested by itself. Here the, the endpoints named actors, but its name is not so significant. It's just because it's one of the main tables from this Sakila database, but you can change that as well. It's not the goal here. Um, so here is the, the carry we have executed. It's very important. The names we have defined here because we should base it in these names. We are going to generate then one JSON object. So we are going to have attributes with these two names with the respective values the database is going to deliver. Here itself is a function from the Express. This app variable is from Express. And then here it opens to read from get requests that are triggered to this address. And then it's going to look in the database and deliver the data as a JSON, a JSON output. Moreover, more than that, we have to open that to receive requests from external or origins. Of course, you can calibrate that to receive just for some X specific one. It's just one as impose, then I have set the generic allow origin option. But if you don't set that, your client will be blocked to perform requests here. So it's important you prepare your header to receive these requests. It's important for the client perspective. Okay, once you have done that, um, we you can try to test your backend by itself. So just right click and run the code. And here, Express is running, MySQL connection is running. So you can uh, now use a client to connect here. It's important just highlight here, I'm utilizing the, the Visual Studio ID, but you can use any ID you want. The code here is available to be downloaded as well in the video description. So you can you should not worry to, to copy that in case you want to reproduce this example. Okay, now let's go to last step in which we are going to consume that from the web client. Now it's the time to see the front end code. Here is a very short code, as you can see, it fits in this screen. And we are going to prepare the data to be presented in the Plotly bar chart. Here we import the Plotly library. We just download that online when the code opens. Here we point to the place where we have the um, back end prepared to response for requests we have done in the previous step. Once the response comes, we convert that to JSON object, and then we need to prepare two arrays with exactly the same size. That's the X and the Y. For this purpose, we use the map function from the array object because it returns one array, and then the X axis is going to be the full name of the customer and the y axis is going to be the total value each customer has paid and then the bar chart is going to be based in these two data series that are related each other we need to have one div that is empty in the initial initial point when the page, page loads but with this function here the Plotly library is going to take this div here and it's going to draw the data presenting this, this bar chart here. Now let's see when executing this page what's going to be our output. So here is the interface we have just drawn. As you can see, this, this chart here has some kind of behavior when you pass your mouse over each bar it shows the, the values it's, it's related to. The scale here is also automatically defined by the bar chart. It has some functions here for interacting with that. A few of them are available and some others uh, are not available. You can click and test by yourself. And it's possible to customize some kind of 
of features the chart could show. You could download, for instance, this chart as an image if you want to. And the colors is also poss possible to customize. But before ending here, I would like here to show to you this front end requesting to the back end we have programmed. So if you press F12 here and go to network, let's do a new loading of this page. And then you can see here the requests we have done. And here we have our backend data that returns. So here is our X variable and our Y variable we have mapped in the client. So it's very important your backend when requested, when request, when you copy that and request that, it answered with this response here. So this was the code we have just prepared with this example. So we are reaching the end of this video and I really hope some parts of this code could be useful for you. If you have to build dashboards using this stack of technologies, you could then just download the code. It's available in the first comment of this video. Download that, take that from GitHub and use that and customize that for your own project. Thank you for watching and if, if you would like to have more examples using variations of this plot list, charts or database, just write down in the comments and ask for some content you are looking for. Thank you for watching and see you next time.